Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's create a new RAG application using Llama Index. What we are going to do in this video is create a Llama Index RAG application with a CLI tool called Create Llama. How the video will proceed is it will be in two phases. The first one will be the development phase and the next one will be the production one. In the development phase, everything will, we will write the code in GitHub code space. So this will be a complete walkthrough from start to the end. We, I will show you how you can create the account in GitHub. And then we will go and create a GitHub repository. And we will create the RAG application using the Create Llama CLI tool. And we will test that so that it works properly. If you just want to test with just the development environment, then this part is more than enough but what we will do next is we will uh, deploy this particular app in Vercel and how it works again there also is that we will create an account in Vercel or I will show you how to do that and we need to authorize github in order to use that particular repository by Vercel and we will choose the repository that we will be creating and then we will deploy it and the same app that it was running let's say locally will run in Vercel. By the end of this video, you will be seeing similar looking applications which is running on Vercel. And yeah, you can just type the questions here and get the answer out of the documents that you use in, in the RAG applications. Let's get started. Okay, as I said to you before also, this will be in the two parts, right? First, let's go through the development uh, page. First, we need to go to the GitHub core space, meaning that we need to have a GitHub account. If you don't have the account already, you need to go here and sign up. That's how it works. You can go to the sign up icon here and it says welcome to GitHub. Let's begin the adventure and now it asks you to provide email. You need to provide your email address and follow along with this one. You will be able to create the account. Let's say that we already have account. Once you have the account, you can go to the sign in icon. And here I have already on GitHub account. It says my username here and the password, I will do the sign in. Now we are logged in into the GitHub account. According to this diagram, now this account creation is, uh, is done, right? What we do next is we need to go to this create repository part. Let's go to the GitHub. And on the top here, you see here there is this plus icon. Here it says new repository. Just click this one and it will ask us now to create a new repository. It will be the owner, your name there. And then here in the repository name, you can give some random name. If I go here, I will create this create llama npx, right? This is the name of the repository and it will show us in the green if it is available or not. If someone else has already created it, then it will not be available. I can go here in the description and say, okay, generate llama index apps with a command line tool called create llama. What we can do this, we can make it a public repository. And we can add a readme file. We can go here and say, okay, git ignore. And we can go here and use node. I will show you how to do this using node and npx. And here license, you can just choose what, any one of these. I'm choosing MIT license. I will go here and say create repository. The empty repository is being now created. There is nothing here except the git ignore and the license and the readme.md. We completed this create a repository part also. But now we need to open this repository into GitHub code space because we need to write some code and you can clone this locally and write in your local computer. But I am choosing the GitHub code space so that you don't face any difficulty along the way because this is the same environment behind the scene in GitHub code space. For that, what you need to do is Go to this code icon here and there is local and code space. If you want to do this locally, as I said before, you can just go here and clone this locally and continue. But I'm going to use the code space. Here what it does is it actually creates a container where it will allow us to write some code. I will say create code space on main, meaning that there is just the main branch here. We haven't created any branches. So I will click this create code space on main. Now, as I said you before, it is setting up the code space for us, meaning that the new VS code UI will be displayed as you can see here. And now this is running somewhere in the GitHub 
let's say cloud space somewhere now as you can see here it says okay this is the readme it is shown here and just the empty space is being shown here so i can do clear just to clear the screen once this is done what is the next step now we need to create the rag app using the create llama right by the way there is already a good documentation provided by llama index there is two different blog posts this one is create llama command line tool to generate llama index apps and later there is the updated version also here i will provide both of these in this particular uh, repository in the readme i will add this later you can just follow along with uh, different steps what you need to follow as well as all the relevant links will be here the next thing is we need to use the command line tool but for that we need to have a node installed that is the reason i'm showing you in github code space because the node is already being installed in uh, github code space as you can see there is uh, version 20.9.0 if i check and so there is also npm already being installed let's see the version and if i go and see npx there is also the npx meaning that we don't need to install any of these things but if you are working locally you need to install node and i think when you install node the npm comes by default once this is done you can clear this screen what is the command that we need to do right if you go to this create llama npm so here is the create llama it was published a day ago and we can run this you can just copy this one Control C. Now go back here and on the terminal you can run. Okay, allow. It says npm create llama data test. Right. Let me make this bigger because everything now will be happening in the terminal itself. I will run enter. What it is going to do now is ask us to provide some information. So it says here need to install the following packages. Create llama 0.010. We can say why it is asking us to proceed. And now it is installing something there, right? Once it is done, it says, what is your project name? I can say, my create llama app. You can just give whatever you want. Next, it says here, which template would you like to use? Here, chat without streaming or chat with streaming. I'm going to go with chat with streaming. But if you want to go with chat without streaming, just use the op arrow in your keyboard. You can just go which one you want to choose. I will go with chat with streaming. Enter. And it says here which framework would you like to use. It depends what you want to use. And as I said you in the documentation provided by Lama Index, there is all the information how you need to proceed. But in this case, I'm going to go with Next.js. I can just do Enter. And now it says here which UI would you like to use just html or start cn i'm going to use the just html and now it says here which chat engine would you like to use there is two context chat engine and simple chat engine no data just chat meaning that if you go with the context chat engine that is the rag application but if you want to just have a simple chat ui then you can go with the simple chat engine you can just have a conversation like in chat gpt which uses the base model right I will just I will go with the rag applications. I will press enter. It says please provide your open AI API key. Leave blank to skip. What they recommended is provide this open AI API key on the terminal itself. Everything is set up for you by default. This one, please don't show the API key, but for the demonstration purpose, I'm showing you the API key and I'm going to paste it in the terminal because I'm going to revoke that later. Way to get the API key. You need to go to the platform.openai.com. I will provide this link also in the readme of this particular repository. I will go here and create a new account. By the way, you need to have open AI account and it's not free. So you need to put your credit card and stuff here. I will say here, okay, I can just give some name. Okay, Lama index. And I will say create secret key. It will be shown here. I will copy this. I will go back to the terminal here i will just control v paste this i will say enter it says would you like to use eslint i can say yes and now it says here initializing project with the template streaming using chat engine context 
as you can see here it says installing dependencies ai lama index dot env next react react dom and so on it is installing the dev dependencies also it will take some time to install all the all the dependencies as you can see here when this is running here there is a folder called my create llama app being created if you go inside this you will see different files and folders being created there is the app there is node modules some public if you are used to working with the npx or node you know what these things are but we don't actually need to worry about anything here because that is all provided for us by the app okay now it says here okay deprecated warnings we don't need to care about this okay now it is done once this is done as you can see we just had these three files before git ignore license and readme.md but now all the different things are being created here if you want to go there and investigate you can go through there but now i'm creating the rag applications and inside this data folder i can place files let's say the pdf or a text file or whatever you want to do because if you go to this create llama documentation this one as you can see here it says here that okay simple chat engine context chat engine and using your data so it says here with the next years back in this is dot data we can provide the data and the app will ingest any supported files you put in this directory your next JS and express apps using llama index dot ts so they will be able to ingest any pdf text csp markdown or and html files but if you use the python backend so it even it includes the video and audio files it's up to you which you want to use and please follow these instructions if you want more information but if you just want to see or do whatever i want to provide I think what if you follow the steps you will be able to do here is this 101 uh, pdf file right what is this you can even add more files here right what i'm going to do is here upload a file called gpt for all paper i'll go here i will upload okay now the gpt for all paper is being uploaded here is being uploading now you should see here okay here is gpt for all papers detected unusual okay i can just say ignore for now it is not seen here now this is the gpt for all paper i'm going to ask some questions related to that because this is what i want here right what is the next step that we need to do you can just go here and it says here okay running npm run generate to generate the context data okay it says generate it already run this for us we don't even need to run this but if you add more data here what you need to do is run this npm run generate what i'm going to do here is npm run generate i will run enter as you can see here it says code in it this is this json could not read packages does json because i am outside the folder as you can see here because the app is being created my create llama app we need to go inside that app right let me clear this screen by the way and now i can do cd and my and the tab it will show us my create llama app here what i can do now with the up arrow go here and run npm run generate if i run this so generating the storage context because i added this file later if you add more files you need to run this npm run generate so that it generates the index for us so that we can ask the questions it says here generating the storage context storage context successfully generated in this seconds finish generating the storage what we can do now is run the app for that we can do npm and run and you can run dev npm run dev when we run this it says here okay my creating this app next john and now what we can do is open in browser right i will click this now it should show us our app with a nice looking ui where we can have the conversation as you can see here it says get started by editing app page.txx if you want to modify something build by llama index and here is the place where you can ask the question and there is this send message first let's just say hi because we need to know that it responds right okay hello how can i assist you today meaning that this is now the simple chat engine but now we can ask the questions from our context right we can say who are the authors of the paper 
right? When we ask this, it must provide us the answer. As you can see here, the authors of the paper are, and it provides all the information for me. So you can ask as many questions as you want here. Now, what we can do is we can just close this in the terminal also, as you can see, it shows here, okay, it's running in the local host and all the different things are being shown here. I can do control C, it's stopped. If we go back to this diagram now, as you can see here, we created this code space, we created the account, create the repo, RAG application, and now everything is done. This is our test drag applications and this is all done now we need to deploy this right what we can do now is as you can see here we didn't actually go inside the file there are many things here but because this is kind of two things what you can just follow along what i did there were just three four commands and you have your application what you need to do is just dump whatever file you want to have the conversation with inside this data folder and that you are good to go. But if you want to change something inside the code, then you can go to the folders here and then change whatever you want to do, right? That's the next part for advanced users. What we can do now is now add all the changes that we did and then push this into our... But before doing that, as you can see, there is this .env also file here. And this has the secret or the API keys right but in the git ignore as you can see here what we can do is go here and add one more line here if we scroll here is the dot env what I can do here is dot env I can add this meaning that this will not be pushed into my git because when I show you here it's fine but when you push something into the uh, github it's it's important that you don't push the files where it has the API keys, right? If you do this, it's we are good to go. And what I can do here is now just add all the things. Let's say, let me clear this screen first. If you do git status, it will show us, okay, what are the changes that we did? Because I'm inside the my create llama app. I can go one step back. And if I do git status, as you can see, there is the my create llama app being created and inside there there are many files and folders but what we can do is we can say git add my and then this whole folder itself and now if i do git status it will show all the files and now i can commit this what i can do here is let me clear the screen git commit and i will just write a simple message here okay what I can write is llama index app created using create llama, right? I will do this. And now if I do git status, it says here, okay, your branch is ahead of origin. Git push to uh, publish your local changes. I can do git push, enter. Now, whatever we have written here is now pushed to our GitHub repository. This repository now we can use in the version, right? If I go to the folder before it, we have just three different files. If I now refresh the page, as you can see here, now we have this my create llama app. If I go inside this, as you can see here, we have all the files and folders which we we had there. Let's say in here, right? All the things are now pushed into this particular folder. So yeah. Now this is done. The next step, what we can do is go to this production. What we need to do is first go to this shell and create the account and then authorize the GitHub, choose the repository and then deploy, right? For that, let's go to the shell. This is the shell website. First, you need to sign up, meaning you need to create the account. So here it's like a hobby or pro, you can just choose any of those. Let's say hobby and you can continue and create the account. Once the account is being created, you can go to this login and you can just log in with what you just created the account. I'm going to continue with GitHub, so it's easier. Continue with GitHub. Now it will ask me here to authenticate, right? And it is authenticated because I have already configured that. But for you, it will ask, or it will ask to approve if you want to actually connect to your GitHub account or not. Once that is done, what I can do now is go to this add new 
and project and now it shows here okay import git repository here this is my username in git right here in the sorts icon i can just provide whatever i want to do let's say we created the what, what did what did we create it we created this create uh, llama npx right if i go here now and if i just paste it here it does not show us because we need to configure the github applications what we need to do is click this one it will again ask here okay install Warshell and I said which one you want to authorize I will say Sudarshan Koirala that is my github account which I used to create this particular repository I will do the configure and then it will ask me some of the things here whatever do you want to do and all the different things it says here read access to metadata and repository access if you want to give all repositories access or just the selected ones I can just maybe write here create Okay, as you can see here, there is create llama npx. I will choose this one and I will say save. Once this is done, now it is configured to use that particular git uh, repository. And it says here create llama npx three minutes ago. I can do import now, right? I will click the import. Now we need to configure the project. What we need to do here is project name. You can give whatever you want to give, but I just leave it as it is and the owner i will just leave as it is here and the framework preset we don't need to do anything here but you can just go here and choose uh, whatever you want and this root directory is one that you need to be careful here because we have if i go to the folder we have this repository name and inside there we have this my create llama app what we can do is because if you don't have this and if you just have my create llama app then you can provide root but what I find here is that you can provide the folder name here. If you go here and inside this, there is this my create llama app. I will choose this one and I will continue. This is chosen. And then you need to go here and provide the environment variables also. And environment variables is the open AI API key. I will go here and type open. AI API and then I will again go back to this API key place I will copy this I will go back here and here I will just paste this I will say add now I have my open AI API key I will choose the deploy now now it, it will take some time to get deployed what we did just to recap here this is the production we created the virtual account this is done and we authorized with the github that you want to use we choose the right repository from our github account you need to provide access so you can provide all or the selected ones and then we choose the particular folder that you want and then we provided the open ai api key and then we just click the deploy it will take some time to deploy once this is done then it will show us the url where it takes us to the deployed version of our rag applications and that will be exactly the same copy let's say what we run in our github code space in the development environment that's how we easily can deploy things into with with Vorsel. here it is still developing it will take some time if you click this one it says here all the all the logs here Vorsel build and it is taking some time but yeah as you can see here it directly uh, forwards us to this page it says congratulations you just deployed a new project to Vershell. continue to the dashboard or this is the app here you can just click into this it will open in a new tab in the browser but yeah this is the same looking ui that we saw before right now what we can do is just ask here hi if it works or not right i will just run enter or you can just click this send message it must give us some reply from here i said hi Let's wait if it provides. Okay, hello. How can I assist you today? I can just go here and say, who are the authors of the paper? If I run enter, it should give us the same answer now. You can see that we just use the same develop and now we just deploy this into the production using version. Yeah, this is how it works. And once this is done, what you can do is, yeah, go back here, continue to dashboard. You will see that your app is running here ready three minutes ago by your name 
and this is the domain as you can see here it also shows us you the domain this is you can just go here open in a new tab right and then it will just show here and this is you can just share this with someone else and then the app is ready here but the good part also here is that once you deploy this in Varshell, if you go back to our app here and if you refresh the page you will see that there is a link also already being shown just down of this about section here create llama npx Varshell app you can just click this one and it will take you to the same page now you can just ask as many questions as you want and if you need to update more data what you can do is go back to your data folder and then add more data into it and then it will be deployed and you can ask more conversations i think this is really good way how you can create the simple applications and it's not that hard also if you know how, what to do uh, in different steps although the video went quite long i hope now you get the overall idea how we can go through step by step okay now let's say that you don't want this being deployed here what you can do is here you have this project you can just check around here okay what is the deployments this is how it is being deployed what is the analytics you can just go ahead and check that one also as you can see here and there is this speed insights also and there is this logs what are the different logs that went through right all the different things are shown here there is this storage things and then there is the settings once you go to the settings what you can do is if you scroll a little bit down here you can delete this if you don't want right delete project and this is the danger zone as it says here and you can delete this if you don't want this is how you can just get rid of this app if you want and yeah that's all and what did i miss here yeah i think that's all in this video but what i will be doing is in this readme file i will provide you all the step by step instruction also how to proceed step by step so that you will get the idea what we are doing and i will also attach this image also in the readme here so that you also get the idea already in the readme file also so yeah i hope you learned something new today thank you for watching and see you in the next video